Imagine this, you're on a roller coaster. Not just any roller coaster, but the roller coaster of life. It's filled with highs and lows, twists and turns. But what if you had the power to navigate this ride skillfully? What if you could learn from others' mistakes to make your journey smoother? Intrigued? Stick around because we're diving deep into the art of wise decision-making today. There's an enlightening tale about a sage who was once asked, How did you become so wise? His response was as simple as it was profound. I learned from fools. I observed their choices and steered clear of the pitfalls they fell into. So what's the biggest life lesson you've learned from observing others? Ever wondered how to fast-track your life's wisdom by decades? What if you could leap ahead of the crowd, not by cutting corners but by deeply observing life? Imagine shaving 20 or 30 years off your learning curve catapulting yourself into the top 1% of life's students. Yes, life is a treasure trove of lessons waiting to be unearthed. The moment you think you've arrived, meow that you know it all, is the very moment your growth grinds to a halt. Are you willing to be a lifelong student? Or will you fall into the trap of thinking you've learned it all? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's build a community that learns together. Welcome to Lesson 1 of A Stoic in Your Life, where we explore Stoic lessons that men often learn too late in life. Today's lesson is profoundly simple yet life-altering. Happiness is a personal choice. Many men find themselves entrapped in the illusion that external factors, be it relationships, material wealth, or physical pleasures, are the keys to happiness. This mindset is a pitfall, especially in relationships, when you hinge your joy on someone else, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. The weather is a simple yet powerful example. On a rainy day, one man may revel in the beauty of raindrops, while another curses the skies. The difference? Mindset. Stoicism teaches us to have control over our emotions and to derive joy from within. Your happiness should not be a slave to external circumstances. One practical way to cultivate this inner peace is by disconnecting from social media, a modern-day arena that often fosters envy and discontent. Your happiness is your responsibility. It's a daily choice that you must make regardless of external conditions. By mastering your emotions and focusing on internal joy, you not only enrich your life but also become a pillar of strength and happiness for others. Imagine navigating life's ups and downs with a serene mind unshaken by external chaos. That's the power of making happiness a personal choice. It's not just about you. It's about becoming a beacon of positivity in a world desperate for light. So, are you ready to take control of your happiness? Remember, the journey to a fulfilling life starts with a single, empowering choice. Make yours today. Lesson 2. Everything is temporary. We often get swept away in the euphoria of good times thinking they'll last forever. Conversely, during challenging periods we may feel as if we're stuck in an endless loop of despair. This emotional roller coaster can lead to poor decision-making and a lack of inner peace. Stoicism teaches us the art of equanimity, maintaining a balanced mind regardless of external circumstances. The next time you find yourself overwhelmed by emotion, whether joy or sorrow, take a step back. Remind yourself that this too shall pass. By doing so, you cultivate emotional resilience and make room for reasoned action. Embrace the good times, but don't cling to them. Face challenges with courage, but don't be consumed by them. Understand that everything is temporary, and this realization will free you from the tyranny of extreme emotions. Because mastering your emotions is the cornerstone of a fulfilling life. It allows you to make better decisions, build stronger relationships, and navigate life's ups and downs with grace. What will you do the next time life throws a curveball your way? Will you be swept away or will you stand firm rooted in the wisdom that everything is temporary? Lesson 3. Life isn't fair, let's face it. Let's delve into a truth that many of us realize far too late. Life is not a level playing field. Some are born into privilege, while others face uphill battles from day one. It's easy to fall into the trap of blaming circumstances or resenting others for their advantages. But here's where stoicism shines its guiding light. 
You and only you are responsible for crafting the life you desire. You might ask, how can I navigate through this unfairness? The Stoic philosophers teach us that the path to the life you yearn for often winds through the very challenges you're tempted to sidestep. Remember the wisdom of Seneca. Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. So instead of lamenting your lot, embrace discomfort as a stepping stone to growth. Take action, cease the complaints, and start building. These are the pillars that make you not just resilient but also resourceful. Begin by identifying one challenge you've been avoiding. It could be a difficult conversation, a career move, or even a personal habit you need to change. Confront it, head on. The discomfort you feel is the price of admission to a better life. By adopting this stoic approach, you're not just surviving the inequities of life, you're thriving despite them. You're turning obstacles into opportunities, and in doing so, you're becoming the architect of your own destiny. What's one challenge you're committed to facing this week? Share it in the comments below. Let's build a community that turns life's inequities into stepping stones for growth. Lesson 4. Taking Risks in Life Have you ever found yourself paralyzed at the crossroads of life, wondering if taking that leap of faith is worth the risk? What if I told you that the real risk is in not taking any risks at all? Many men find themselves stuck in the comfort zones of their lives, whether it's in relationships, careers, or personal endeavors. The fear of failure, rejection, or change holds them back. This stagnation is a silent killer of dreams and opportunities. Stoicism teaches us that life is unpredictable and full of challenges. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, It's not because things are difficult that we dare not venture. It's because we dare not venture that they are difficult. The essence of Stoicism is to embrace life's uncertainties and to act in accordance with our values and virtues. The Stoic approach to risk-taking involves calculated courage. Assess the situation. We the pros and cons, but don't let fear dictate your actions. Remember the obstacle is the way. Facing challenges head-on not only brings you closer to your goals, but also provides invaluable life lessons. Lesson 5. The Power of Being Present Have you ever found yourself lost in the labyrinth of what-ifs and if-onlys, only to realize that the present moment has slipped through your fingers like sand? It's a pitfall many men tumble into being so engrossed in the past's regrets or the future's uncertainties that they neglect the present. This mental time travel can be more than just distracting. It can be debilitating. Whether it's the nostalgia of the good old days or the anxiety of what lies ahead, this temporal dislocation can rob you of the joy and opportunities available here and now. Stoicism teaches us the value of amor fati, or the love of fate, it encourages us to embrace the present moment, with all its imperfections, as if we had chosen it ourselves. By doing so, we unlock a level of contentment and resilience that is unattainable when we're mentally absent from the present. Marcus Aurelius once said, Do not disturb yourself by picturing your life as a whole. Do not assemble in your mind the many and varied troubles. But ask yourself with regard to every present difficulty. What is there in this that is unbearable and beyond endurance? Start by practicing mindfulness, even if it's just for a few minutes each day. Focus on your breath, your sensations, and your immediate surroundings. This simple act can serve as an anchor, pulling you back from the tumultuous seas of past and future into the calm harbor of the present. The present moment is all we truly have, and it's where all the potential for change and growth resides. By mastering the art of being present, you're not just living, you're thriving. And that, dear viewers, is a lesson worth learning before it's too late. Seize the moment, for it's the only moment you're guaranteed to have. Lesson 6. The Trap of Overthinking is Ifu. Have you found yourself trapped in a maze of your own thoughts dissecting every minor action or word from someone else, only to find that you've built a mountain out of a molehill? Welcome to the Trap of Overthinking a pitfall that many men often realize too late in life. Overthinking is a deceptive snare. It starts innocuously, perhaps with a colleague not saying goodbye, and before you know it, 
you're spiraling into a vortex of assumptions and anxieties. You become convinced that the person despises you, even when they might have been simply preoccupied. This mental labyrinth can be paralyzing, affecting your emotional well-being and even your actions. So how do we break free? Stoicism teaches us that the antidote to overthinking is action. Marcus Aurelius once said, Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. When you find yourself sinking into an abyss of thoughts, take a step, any step, that moves you closer to a resolution or understanding. Action dispels the fog of overthinking and brings clarity. The next time you catch yourself overthinking, remember that action is your ladder out of that mental pit. Engage in a task, initiate a conversation, or simply take a walk. The value in this is immeasurable. It not only liberates your mind, but also propels you forward in life. What action will you take today to free yourself from the chains of overthinking? Share your thoughts and let's build a community that thrives on action, not rumination. Lesson 7. Follow your passion and choose your career wisely. Ever heard the phrase, time is money? Well, in the Stoic realm, time is more than money. It's the essence of life itself. One of the most common regrets men have later in life is not following their passion when choosing a career. Why? Because your career isn't just a paycheck, it's a significant chunk of your life's time. The issue here is twofold. First, societal pressures or external influences like parents or friends often dictate our career choices. Second, this misalignment between passion and profession leads to a ripple effect of discontent, affecting not just your job satisfaction, but your overall well-being. So how do we navigate this? Stoicism teaches us the art of self-investment. Focus on developing skills that not only advance your career, but also align with your inner purpose and mission. This is not just about professional growth. It's about personal fulfillment. In conclusion, don't just invest in a career, invest in a life that resonates with your true self, the benefits, a fulfilling career, a happier life, and no room for late life regrets. Remember, the best investment you can make is in yourself. Now take a moment to reflect. Are you on the path that truly aligns with your purpose? If not, what steps will you take today to correct your course? Lesson 8. Your mind is your greatest ally and adversary, the most crucial. Gentlemen, what if I told you that the most powerful tool you have is also your greatest enemy? Yes, I'm talking about your mind. Let's dive into a lesson many men learn too late. We often externalize blame for our failures, overlooking the fact that our mind is the true architect of our life's outcomes. This dual nature of the mind, as both ally and adversary, can make or break us. Stoicism teaches us that our thoughts are the rudder steering our life's ship. Negative self-talk and doubt can act like holes in this ship, sinking us slowly. On the flip side, a positive and growth-oriented mindset can be the wind in our sails, propelling us forward. Train your mind to be your greatest supporter. How? Embrace challenges as opportunities to mold your mindset. Weed out negativity and doubt replacing them with seeds of belief and resilience. Be vigilant against the mind's tendency to become a formidable opponent. Remember, life is a precious gift and you're the gardener of your mental landscape. Cultivate self-awareness and tend to your thoughts with care. By doing so, you're not just avoiding regret. You're actively steering your life towards success and fulfillment. As we conclude today's exploration into the Stoic philosophy, Remember that the landscape of your mind is malleable, shaped by the thoughts you choose to water and nurture. Stoicism offers us invaluable tools for personal growth and happiness, tools that are as relevant today as they were in ancient times. So I encourage you to take these principles and apply them in your daily life. Reflect on them, discuss them with others, and most importantly, live them. Your journey towards a more resilient and serene life starts with the choices you make today. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Stoic in your life channel for more content that aims to enrich your life. Until next time, may your stoic journey be enlightening.